Hello brothers or kapatid, Fredo here and welcome back to my channel. So I was thinking of buying a used laptop online and I saw one post that got me attention and it looks like it's a very good deal. Although a little shady but for a 20,000 pesos or 397 USD with a high end CPU and GPU, why not, right? The seller did mention that the laptop was used lightly by her sister. I guess it was underutilized after a day. We do up a deal and tested the item. It looks fine except for the damaged wires of the charger, but the unit is in pristine condition and ended up buying impossibly. To be honest, this is my first Razer laptop and I'm extremely pleased with the build and the parts inside. Even though it's a 5 year old laptop, I feel it is still decent for gaming and a day to day use. So will it perform well with the latest emulators available out there in 2022? In today's video, we'll do some benchmarks, emulation tests, and some real life application. So without further delay, let's get started. Hello, my name is Fredo and you're watching Project Edging. Before we start this testing, straight off the bat, it looks like the internal parts are all intact. The RAM and SSD is working properly. We just need to clean up the dust accumulated by the fan. Play time lapse. After cleaning, we're going to do some benchmarks and see the performance of this 5 year old machine. Next up is to test the gaming performance. I did install a few emulators for Nintendo Switch, some PS3 games, PSP, some PS2, and some Wii games. And check out the full capability of this old laptop using the newest emulators.
Finally, we're going to test some real-life application. I'll be doing some rendering, extracting, and file transfer to test the horsepower of this razor blade. Let's go! Overall, I'm really impressed even with an older gaming laptop. It is still a worthy purchase, especially for people like me on a budget. The price is just right, the performance was there but not really the best. Don't expect much in the speed in rendering, as it tends to slow down when used over time. There's a little power when doing some multitasking. I noticed some hiccups in between transfer but it might be an issue of an old SSD or something. For emulation, it is still okay. If you don't mind playing games with full and loud fan, mm, yeah. It is still worthy in 2022, especially this is a case to case base. If you're lucky to get a good deal, yes, I will highly recommend buying it. Just make sure to test the laptop and take notice of the some screw marks to double check if it was repaired or refurbished. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Hope you enjoyed this video, we'll be doing some more of this style of content in the future. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get updated on our new videos weekly. Thanks for watching and as always, have a good game everyone. Peace.